Meghan Markle and Prince Harry should not come back to the UK as part-time working royals, according to Express.co.uk readers. In a poll that ran from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Wednesday, March 25, Express.co.uk asked its readers, do you think Prince Harry and Meghan Markle deserve the right to change their minds and resume some royal duties, after a royal expert said the Duke and Duchess of Sussex might wish to make a return once Prince Charles ascends the throne. The poll gathered a whopping 10,782 participants, with hundreds of comments left in a lively debate. Overwhelmingly, the majority, 97%, 10,483, said no, Meghan and Harry should not be allowed to come back as part-time royals. Just 2%, 267, said yes, they should be allowed to change their minds and come back, and the further 1%, 32 people, said they just didn't know. In the comments, it was clear that people felt too much had happened between the Duke and Duchess and the rest of the royal family. Username Fred Bear said, succinctly, I think they've incinerated that particular bridge. Readers also pointed to the bombshell Oprah interview Meghan and Harry appeared in last year, as well as Harry's upcoming memoir, which reports suggest contains damaging allegations about the royal world. One user, Giant Dwarf wrote, if they had simply left that would be one thing. Since leaving, however, they have gone out of their way to badmouth their family. Others said the couple should stick to the choice they made when they decided to live a quieter life. Username D.Rad said, they made it clear, they wanted a life out of the limelight. Username Elwood said, they have made clear their ambition, to lead private lives away from the responsibility and exposure of royal duty. It's not something that they should be entitled to dip in and out of when it suits them. And user Dennis wrote, they made their choice so let them stick with it. Others said they felt it would be disrespectful to the Queen to try and come back part-time when she is no longer on the throne, as she declined to offer them that package when they negotiated their exit from full-time royal duties. Username Outham Law said, this is what was refused to them by the Queen and her wishes should be adhered to. She told them that they couldn't be half in and half out, the royal family, must, serve selflessly. And username Goldie Lover agreed, they had their trial year, and decided not to come back. They are hoping that Charles will give them what the Queen wouldn't, and that is highly disrespectful towards her. The poll came off the back of comments made by royal author Tom Quinn, speaking to the Today for Daily podcast on Monday. He said, one interesting thing an insider told me, is that both Meghan and Harry believe that when the elder royals die, in other words, Elizabeth, they may well be able when Charles is king, be able to come back and be the part-time royals that they really wanted to be. So that they would be six months, as, working royals and six months in the States or wherever doing their own thing. That was something that Queen Elizabeth absolutely said couldn't happen, but I think Meghan and Harry are hoping that Charles, Harry's father after all, will be more of a modernizer and will say to them, OK, if you want to be part-time royals, that's fine. I don't think Harry and Meghan really want to spend their whole time in the States and not be part of the royal family, they just don't want to do it all the time. He added, I don't think Harry does want to destroy the royal family. I think he just really does want to find a role. He doesn't really have a role in the royal family because he's the spare rather than the heir, but there's still lots of hospitals to open, meetings to go to, charities to support. He could have had a limited role, but in California what can he do? So I think really rather than damage the royal family I think he's just madly in love with Meghan and wants to make her happy.